Hello Python programmers. So this is gonna be a very short video. In this video, I'll show you that how you can create a loading screen using Python. Now this is not gonna be a project in itself, but if this is added, this feature is added to any GUI project, then it can really enhance that project. Now let me first show you that what loading effect I am talking about. So uh, let me open the folder and just a second so shift plus mouse right click open powershell window here python 1.py uh, so here you can see this is the loading screen that i am talking about you can add this to your project and it can really enhance the gui feel of your project okay so first of all let's talk about that what is the system requirement for this project or what are the external packages that you need to install so you only need to install one external package which is called uh, tqdm so quickly open the command prompt and write pip install uh, tqdm press enter this package will be installed for you this is a fairly small uh, external package so it won't take that much time so with this being done let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import the required library, which is time and tqdm. Okay. Okay, so now we have imported the required libraries. Now let's create a for loop, which will actually create that loading effect. Okay, so first let me write, then I'll explain you that uh, what is the code written. Okay. Okay, so there are a lot of things written here. So let me start explaining you. So first of all, we have created a for loop. Now, as you know, a for loop accepts a list or a sequence. So uh, TQDM is returning a sequence. Now, first of all, it will go for the range of uh, 0 to 100 because we know percentage goes from 0 to 100. Now, let me show you the output first. Okay. So uh, let me open the command prompt and we'll see the explanation by the output only. Okay. So just a second, let me uh, uh, write. So program dot py. Okay. So we're having another, just a second. And okay. So now here you can see that uh, the loading screen is going from zero to hundred with the intervals of one percent right so this is why we are writing 100 here let's make this 10 okay so let's see what the difference is so i guess i have saved okay so let's run and here you can see it is going from 0 to 10 then 20 then 30 so the difference between uh two consecutive uh percentage is 10 because the uh the sequence or the list is divided into 10 sections previously it was partitioned into 100 this is why the sequence was going with one difference but now as we have partitioned with 10 it is going with 10 difference okay now this is the description here you can see the description that is written in the starting and then we have the ascii now if you want you can also see the numbers increasing now let me show you that also uh, so we'll write true here okay so let me run the program and here you can see the number is written at the end so this is uh, what the ascii representation here means and then this for loop is over and we are uh, running this with the time sleep or the time interval of 0.1 second so that the uh, process is visible now if we decrease the value then let me uh, save and run the program here you can see the process is very fast and if we uh, just say increase to 5 seconds there you can see the process will be very slow so now here you can see okay so uh yeah this was a short video 
in which I have shown you that how you can create a loading screen and I have also tried to explain you some of the main parameters of this TQDM library. Okay, so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye-bye.